I know, I know, hello. <laughs> I have not filmed on this channel in a long time. I apologize about that, but here I am um, on the in the Rainbow Room. Um, and again, like I said before, uh, I may eat a little bit here, but it's not really, I'm not setting this up as a eating channel. Um, it's just going to be a place to do other things, like talk, which I want to do now. So, um, I guess just some stuff that have been, just been kind of going on with me, not really too personal, just kind of frivolous shit, like, uh, the fact that I've had to return, uh, more than a desired amount of items, uh, back to, um, online stores or to Amazon because, uh, either they didn't fit, ran too small, or, uh, they were defective altogether. So, um, you know, I'm trying to cultivate a sort of winter outfit or outfits, uh, to match my different moods or whatever. And, um, it's not working. Now this cap, I got, uh, this, this one worked okay. I like this one. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to, um, that light, I'm trying to make it so that you guys don't get too much of that light. So I apologize. Uh, I was trying to put my face kind of in the way so that it wouldn't catch too much. I don't know how to fix that. If you guys have any ideas other than getting a new camera, which I will do, but I don't want to be forced into that right now. Um, you know, I'm trying to get a winter coat and all that stuff. And, uh... So my issue now, I had to return a, a motorbike jacket, I had to return two hats, uh, just today actually one I returned, uh, because the snap totally broke off in the back. Like really? Fit well too, I couldn't wait to wear it. Um, but I'll get it together, just take a little time. So I'm waiting on a coat, I ordered it from this site. Just put in, you know, big and tall coats for men or something like that. And came across this site. I won't say the site name. Um, and I did not know. It became clear to me that this site, uh, they would ship this thing out from China. It was a cute price. Very cute, different style of coat for me. Coat jacket. Really nice. And... So right now I'm at a point where at first I was like, you know, emailing them like, where's the tracking information? I couldn't even get a tracking number. And then it became um, when they didn't respond back to that email, uh, I said, OK, I want my money back. You know, I was furious and blah, blah, blah. Then I got information about the tracking. I said, OK, I typed the tracking number in. At first, I didn't see how to do it. Then when I finally got to how to do it. They show you the timeline of everything, and it's going to take weeks to get the thing. I said, oh, brother. I said, I'm going to I just, I'm going to see if I get it. If I don't get it, then I'm going to raise holy hell and then bring in the squad, whoever that is. Then, <laughs> um, but if it doesn't, if it runs small, because that's my fear, it's going to run really small. Because, if, you know, stuff that's made in China, they just do for some reason. So, um... If it does not fit, I will sell it to uh, a co-worker or whoever wants wants to buy it from me. I'm hoping that it fits, though, because I had kind of an, an outfit uh, planned for this coat. And, um, you know, I wanted a sort of, okay, like two different moods going on for the winter here in Chicago. A sort of Midwestern, uh, you know, rugged Carhartt jacket, boots trooper hat you know all that type of thing to keep warm and then on days like today where it's 39 40 degrees still cold but kind of cute not snowy i want to be able to reel this coat out nice buttons that you know pop a little bit it's a black coat collar turned it up i want to get the, the right boots shoes for it everything so you know i was tired of having one uniform look in the winter so I was going for a couple of different ones um, so I'll keep you guys posted on that I have a feeling it's not gonna fit if I get it at all but we shall see uh, the other thing 
I have got myself an Amazon Fire tablet right here. However, um, and it's, it's cool, it's cool, but it's not, I was trying to record on it, and I don't know that I like the sound and video quality. It's kind of like when I was recording, like my very first two or three videos uh, on the I Choose channel were recorded on my laptop, and the quality just was horrible, in, in my opinion. You all talk about my qual well, not all of you, but some of you talk about my quality with the equipment I have now, which is just my iPod Touch. Um, the laptop is a lot worse. Um, and doing a test run on the tablet, I don't know, it just, I've tried to go into the settings to see if I could enhance some things, but I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong or if that's just the particular quality of the tablet, but I do like it nonetheless. Um, I like that I can uh, download movies from Netflix and then watch them on the go. I do appreciate that. And uh, there are a lot of free apps, so we'll see. Um, I'm still going to get a camera. I think that's just going to be the way to go for me. Um, this is <laughs> left over from the, uh, the video I just made for the I Choose channel. from Popeyes. Coleslaw on the biscuit. <coughs> that's all that's left. Should put some butter on that biscuit. Mm. Some movies I've seen. Okay. Well, that I'm watching. So, on Netflix, there's this uh, show, Black Mirror, or Black Mirror. I'm just starting to watch the first season of that. And it's really good. It's really very interesting. It's like a Twilight Zone. Sorry. It's one of those, um, yeah, it's kind of like a Twilight Zone. Um, the first episode of the first season involved a prime minister who... Um, well, there was this uh, princess that was held for ransom in the UK. I believe the UK. And the ransom was that the prime minister had to basically fuck a pig on live television. And I thought, wow, you know, what a, what a storyline. <laughs> so, uh, you know... You're waiting with bated breath, and then there's some kind of, like, for me, the humor and some of the dialogue as they're trying to work this out and negotiate or whatever, or how they're going to get around this. And it just seemed like there was no way that this guy was going to be able to get around it. He had to go in and fuck the pig. So it's that's just the first episode of the first season. So I can't wait to catch up with all the shows. If you've seen it, leave a comment, let me know what you think of it, but don't tell me anything about any episodes. I want to be surprised. Um, and I actually found a movie that I had been looking for for a long time. It's a film called Pariah, and it stars, um, what's her face? Kim Wayans from the Wayans family. She was, you know, on Living Color, um, the show with LL Cool J. She's been in a few movies too. But she plays the mother of this lesbian. She has two children. One of them is a lesbian. And um, it's really, really interesting to me. It came. It got a lot of like rave reviews at the time that it was released. Which was probably, I want to say 2011 or 12, maybe. I hope I got the, the, those years right. But it's on Netflix, finally. And um, I, I'm, I'm really, really loving it. So, that's that. Um, I'm sure you all have seen the, uh, the viral video with the kangaroo. The guy with the kangaroo. Now, I don't know. 
I was starting to feel a little sad about the guy being the kangaroo being hit. There was something just about the fact that the guy hit the animal. And I understand that the kangaroo had the dog in a headlock. And, you know, if that was... I probably would have did the same thing, maybe worse. I don't know. But, you know, PETA's trying to say that the guy should be prosecuted. I don't know that I agree with that. But I was like, damn, did you have to hit the kangaroo? It's, <laughs> maybe I was just stunned by the kangaroo just kind of sitting there. Oh, maybe I was hoping for a strike back. I had to be reminded that the kangaroo could have like kicked the life out of the guy, so I shouldn't have, I shouldn't be too sympathetic. But um, it was funny at first, and then the more I thought about it, I was like, "Ooh, we hitting kangaroos now? Damn!" You know, I never thought kangaroos were that. I don't know why I see them as like a peaceful kind of uh, kind of an animal. No. Um, so that video is getting news, as well as a couple of other things, but I kind of don't want to talk about anything too deep, at least not right now. Um, did you, did you, oh, okay, so the last video, not the one I just made, but the one I made a few days ago, I had put up a link to something that I thought you guys might want to catch. It was uh, uploaded in November, Bad Lip Reading of Yoda. Uh, of the re uh, Empire Strikes Back. It is hilarious. So basically, Yoda is not fond of seagulls, and there's a music video that they did, and <laughs> you've got to see this video. I'm telling you, if and especially if you're like a Star Wars person. Oh, my refund was issued. For the hat I just returned. That's good. Oh, okay, sorry about that. But if you're a, a Star Wars Empire Strikes Back person, you are going to crack up at this video. So, it is... I put the link on the Saturday... I think it was the Saturday Night Chicken Dinner video that I just did a few days ago. So, if you have a, a chance, go on to iTunes, go to that, find that video, and look at that link, y'all. I'm telling you... You're going to laugh if you haven't seen it already. It's fucking hilarious. And I I don't know if it's just the fact that I got a contact high from my friends. Because I don't smoke weed. But my one friend, he does. And it's it's pretty powerful. But we were screaming, laughing. We, we watched it like two or three times. You've got to check it out. I would not steer you in the wrong direction. I really wouldn't. Okay. Um, I think that might be it, but I'm probably going to use this channel for like my reviews of movies, maybe, or music, um, just, and just since I'm talking, Trap Call Quest, if y'all don't have the album, I really can't help you in life, um, please make sure you get that album, it's really the only album that matters, um, it is the album for the times. And it's probably their last. Um, but it is classic. Go online and look at um, all the Tribe Call Quests. If you like hip-hop or love that group, there are videos that show the samples, the original songs that they use to sample some of the songs from there that they've recorded already from past albums. And I think this one, too, I'm going to find out. Um, Moonlight, if you haven't seen it, you must. Um... If you're a gay man or a gay black man in particular, um, I implore you to see it. It is really uh, that good. You will probably see yourself in it, or you will see some people you know in it, you know. But anyway, thanks you guys. This light is irritating the fuck out of me, and I'm sure it's irritating you all too. Um, I, I should probably be training myself to look directly at the camera, like right here. But I just get in the mode and, you know, whatever. But, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your thoughts and have a great rest of the evening. Goodbye.